Hi, good afternoon and welcome to my next video. Um, this one's all about renaming songs for the iPod. Now, I've been having a nightmare with this. My um, iPod's been unnamed for years. The tunes haven't been done because I couldn't be bothered to edit all the names or anything. So, let's say what I mean. Unknown. Track 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 12. Unknown album. Unknown album. Uh, a known album, but the tracks are just one, two, three, four. A back cover tells me what they are, but has anybody got time to edit those? I haven't. So many tunes. Now, basically, I've got all of these off the internet at some point in time. But I say, nothing was renamed. Really some have got covers, some haven't. So let's see if we can fix that. Right, I found this great thing called Pick Card. Now, it's done by Music Brain. And if you type this into the address bar, sorry about that dog again, we'll come up with Music Brain's Pick Card. Uh, download it. Once it's downloaded, install it, and you'll come up with this. Run it, and you'll see it's quite a plain looking screen. You've got add folders, add files. Bit at the top, scan lookup, remove. Now you've got options. If you go down to options, it'll tell you what plugins what you can install. There's loads of plugins, but they all do different things, so you need to have a look at the site to see what they do. But it just give you a little synopsis on each one down here. So select what you want on there, install it the way you want. Now, let's see, add a folder. Various 80s love songs. It's got three folders in there. Get that one, select folder. Now it finds all the tracks what are in the folder and in the three different folders in the tracks. Unmatched 35. Select the first one, scroll down, press the shift key, select the last one. Select some more. Scan them, and you'll see where it's coming up here and here. Now it's actually found the album. Let's give me the images. I'm going to click here. It's now put all the tunes in order. Let's see if that's right. Paul Young. Whenever I lay my hat. Wherever I lay my hat. Style Council. Your best thing, your best thing, long version. Okay, so it looks like it's got it. So what you do there, see it's come up with that, which is the same as in my folder. Also, if you wanted to save that, you just go show more details, click this, it comes up in a big picture, slide that over to there, and you see, saved. Click that off, okay that. Now, as you can see, tracks one, two, three, four, five. Save this. And da da, it works. So that's one. Because the tagging is tagging all the songs with the same picture, you've now got the same picture in all the albums. That's great. Now this this stuff is free, this um, pick card. And I've been doing this for years and I've never found it before. So, heads up, this is just, um, look what I found. <laughs> Let's try one more. Click that, remove it. Add a folder. Up. 
Cigarettes and alcohol. Track one. Okay. Don't like how it keeps jumping to the top, but never mind. Select that folder. As again, click on track one with your right mouse button. Scroll down, hold the shift key, click on track 20, select small, scan them. After a while it will be loading album information. You've got three albums here. Now what it will do is it will play or find the one with the best match to the tracks. This one might only have a couple of songs. See that's only got one out of all of them. Because that song is on that album. This one, again one out of it because that song is on that album. But this one should have all of them matched. Now, as you can see, that is the same icon there. And it's also telling me what some of them have been missed with these missed ones here. But we've got number one in that, so let's see how it gets on. Click that one. Save. It's all been named. And it really is that quick. So, hopefully, with this in mind, we're going to be able to find all the tracks. So, if we just click that, select all those, remove them, add a folder. Okay, then, if you re reselect the folder where it was, you'll find what all the ones have been renamed, but we're missing one, two, three, and 12. One is Oasis and Cigarettes, two. Valera, uh, free, wait it's free, I'm in for resurrection, and 12 would be Riverboat Song. Now, selecting that folder again will show what there's some missing, like Riverboat Song, Resurrection and Cigarettes and Alcohol and everything. Let's have a look. Tell you where the song is and all the different titles and albums where it's appeared in. That one will do the same. Look in the browser. It will tell, also tell you where it was appeared and in what albums and what songs it come in and what order it come in. So we can't find um, a good one for this match. But if we put all of these selected, we scan them, and it's found them. Now, that was lucky that was, because it hasn't been doing it. Now, resave, and you should see the 1, 2, 3, and 12 change. There it goes. Races, cigarettes and alcohol. Cigarettes and alcohol. So it's named them and it's found them. Let's have a look in folders to see if there's any missing. No, that's got all of them to 20. That's good. So that is that. Let's do one more to end the video with. Let's see. We've got Clubland Classics. So let's get rid of that folder. Add a folder. Come out out of that. Uh, Clubland Classics. Stick that folder. After a few seconds it will find all the tunes that are in those folders. Click the first one again. Shift click the last one so all of the tracks are selected. Scan them to look them up. Obviously you've got to be online for this. But it's, you didn't really have to do anything with the pick card. It just goes on there. You don't have to sign up for it. You don't have to subscribe to it or anything else. 
This one's obviously found it here, but only one album, because it knows what all of those ones pretty much make this album. It's gone gold, meaning you've got them all. Put that on there. See what they're all there. Save them, and you'll see what it changed in the folder you selected. If we're quick enough, you'll see the last folder being changed at the same time. There we go. Now it might not be your sort of music, and you might think, eh, but it works on pretty much any music. I just thought the first one didn't work, the second one did, the third one did. Let's just see if we can get one more. Unknown album, 2012. Let's see if we can find that. Add a folder. The one we just done, so now got all its little music titles in there. 12.04. This is how long I've been doing this crap for. Set the folder. Select the tracks. Scan them. It's finding loads here. Now, unfortunately, on this one, we've got one or well, we've only got one or two on each one. As you see, what about there? Two on that one, one out of 15 on that one, one out of 24. But what you can do is you select all of these albums. and save them now obviously that wasn't great because it's renamed them all sort of like whatever place and we've got the music there but we've got the albums and they're like all over the place there so you kind of made your own album but you've got two tens a couple of twelves so that's probably not good. So let's remove that. No, it hasn't really done anything. So it's only found those albums yet again. Which are here. But at least we've got them named now. So that's not too bad in a way. Having multiple albums on like iTunes is not going to be great. But there is other ways to put them onto your iPod. So, I hope this has helped. As I say, this has helped me a lot in the last week. So been looking for what I've been doing I've been doing this crap okay after that they didn't really do anything so yeah but they did rename and they've actually renamed into the song what it says it is and they will play there must be some kind of way out of here back in black whiskey in the jar excuse me So as you can see, they've actually named properly, and they were unknown tunes before. And that's it for this video. Now hopefully it's not taking too long to explain this. Um, the upcoming of the video is Music Brains Pick Card. Go get it. Go sort your music out once and for all. For free. For the minimum effort. And have fun. And don't get stressed. Because... Take it from me, it's so stressful. Anyway, I'll see you all on the next video. Thanks for watching, and see you again soon. Goodbye for now.